Klopp, for the first time, he's got to take some criticism. They probably wallowed in the praise from the Spurs game, went to La Manga, had a jolly up there, a bit of team bonding and all that, and a comeback like they've never played with each other all season. Lalana uh, with his extension, uh, wallet weighing him down on the pitch, uh, contract extension, new wage. Um, it was only real Coutinho who was trying anything. Mane, uh, I think that rattled him, that tackle. Mm -hmm. from the first two minutes he mm -hmm. just didn't seem the same player uh, Chan is a squad player for me um, so there's a, a lot of things which were wrong last night for Liverpool but the basic thing which you need when you're away from home is work and digging in and competing against Leicester because there was only one governor there mm -hmm. from the first kickoff. that was Leicester City they showed desire a will to win and Liverpool didn't this has happened too many times now Burnley Swansea Leicester, uh, Bournemouth away, 4-3. Remember that one? Um, mm -hmm. And it's happening It's happening to teams that are down there in the bottom. And he's got to address that. He hasn't really addressed the defensive side of things since he's been there. You know, so, so how many windows have they, has he had? Three? Um, two or three windows? Two or three, yeah. Two and, or three. and the the depth in the centre-back, Lovren was out yesterday. But you would imagine... Clavin was on the bench. Mm -hmm. he, was, he had a good Euros, didn't he? But... He hasn't looked apart, and uh, you know, and, and the stubbornness of letting Sacco go, falling out with Sacco. So who's you know battling and rolling sleeves off at, at Palace at the moment uh, to stay in the Premier League? And uh, there's another, uh, there's another issue. I know we've got to go to a break, but there's another issue with FSG and the spending and the money. Uh, he didn't spend anything, did he? Last transfer window. Mm -hmm. So is the money there? They can't compete with the Manchester Uniteds. Can't compete with the Chelseas financially to buy a star player for eighty million. Yeah. Are you worried about your bet with Alan? Bottle of champers on Man Manchester United. United finishing finishing above Liverpool. So Manchester oh. United played 25, 48 points. Liverpool played 26, 49 points. And they are sixth and fifth, respectively. So they're playing like that. I'm worried about finishing in the top six. Never mind above Manchester United. <laughs> they were pathetic last night, I'm afraid. So, uh, here we go. Right, let's go. Come on, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, welcome to the talk sport flip off between me and Quinny. We need to find out who's the best tosser, you or me, yeah. as it's pancake day. 30 seconds with a pancake in the pan, hand behind your back, you flip it up in the air like that. If you uh, drop it on the floor, it's got to land flat. No, no, it doesn't matter. It does, I, I it need does, you, it's got to land right, flat. Max is adjudicated. You go first. What's, what's it's got to land flat. We need a timer. Someone needs right, a timer. Okay, 30 seconds. Hang on. So I've got to so toss it. Toss it up in the air. For as many times in 30 seconds. Exactly. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop watch again. 30, 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Stop watch here. Okay. All right. This is like a career highlight for me. <laughs> okay. On your marks, get set, go. One, One two, three, four. <laughs> How old is that pancake? <laughs> yeah. It's like Nine, Moose's top. Ten. How are you doing? Oh, as many in 30 seconds as me. Oh, I can't do How do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to commentate most. Oh. How many is that? How many? 25. 25? You've never done 25. Oh, I'll tell you what, please have a video. You know what? You've done more flipping pancakes than you're scoring goals. Stop. Oh, I got it! Got it. <laughs> 36. You've got to finish with the finale. Oh, do me a favour. We've got to finish with right. If you've never seen the moose, <laughs> I'd like to apologise. That's all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> go on, moose. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> That's not real, is it? That's is that real? Three, Three. four. What are you doing? <laughs> oh no, this is really sick. I feel really sorry. I feel like I feel like incredible. Don't put me off. Don't put me off. Don't open your mouth. You'll swallow it. <laughs> Eleven. What is this pancake? Stop. Oh, I didn't do the big finale one. Well, I'm not going to be that close. Oh, one, I think. Yeah, good one. <laughs> Two to your oh. well done, son. It is Global Scouts Day, yeah. though. Come on, that's better than Come pancakes. On, better than pancakes. <laughs> I'm just sorry. I'm so sorry to apologise. Everyone involved, snare. A huge game for Jim Smith's Newcastle United here at the Goldstone Ground in Brighton. Here's Mark McGee. He finds Mickey Quinn and the goal for Mickey Quinn. Kevin Diller back to McGee. 
finds Mickey Quinn again. Two goals for Mickey Quinn. Lovely ball from Gallery Brazil. No relation to Allen. And here's Mickey Quinn. That's a hat trick for Newcastle. 3 0. Brighton 0. Newcastle 3. Mickey Quinn at the treble. Oh, yeah, actual footage that from Brighton, Newcastle, way back on the 21st of October, 1989. <laughs> uh, the last time the Magpies won a game at Brighton. Hat trick hero Mickey Quinn alongside me this morning. Uh, we had a tweet from Sam Teague says, Do you want to try your Brighton, Newcastle feature again? But maybe try mentioning Brighton this time, just a thought. Uh, we will touch because Chris Hutton's done a brilliant job there. Yeah. What do you remember about that game? I'll tell you what I remember about the flight. We flew. Yeah. Down to Brighton. Right. And it was the most hair-raising flight I have ever been on. I don't like a tiny plane. Thunder and lightning. Yeah, it was a private private plane. Thunder and lightning hit the actual plane. Uh, and there was Gary Brazil. I remember him. He played for Cambridge for a bit. Yeah, he's yeah. Uh, Forest now, isn't he? Yeah. Um, I remember him absolutely yes. spewing up on the plane. Oh, really? Yes, uh, in fear. And it was terrifying. And I think that's what sparked our performance <laughs> we, we were just glad we were alive by the time we landed and we give brighton a good item is that your advice to jürgen klopp then <laughs> frighten the life out of them make them s- make them sick with fear <laughs>